stuck with for a year and a half now. Uh, there's two pigs in this system, uh, and their floor is about here, and the rest of that uh, is filled up with sawdust. And so, as the pigs live in this system, and as they manure this system, that sawdust basically is the carbon source that mixes with that and grabs it. And in the life cycle of the pig, uh, basically we make about six yards of compost without having to do any of the work ourselves. Uh, and the pigs live in an environment that if we balance the, the carbon right and then spray it with uh, a brew that we basically make out of uh, its, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Brian? What's sauerkraut? Fermented. Yeah, it's, it, they're microorganisms that we ferment. That's the word I'm looking for. So it's a fermented plant microorganism base that we spray on here. And as you can see, even though you can see a lot of manure in this, which you usually can't, um, there's not a bunch of flies here, nor was the, you know, you, you probably didn't know there were pigs over here when you were standing over there from the smell. Uh, and so this system is used a lot in Southeast Asia. It's not above ground, it's a pit system, but it allows people that are not, don't, don't have a lot of land to raise pork for themselves without essentially all the smell and flies that would come with that. So it can be fairly near to a household and, and you know, be doable. Pardon me? So these pigs eat essentially stuff off the farm. So they're eating, right now they're eating tons of carambola, uh, we also make a fermented banana stock uh, meal for them. So we take banana stocks, uh, ferment it. It's kind of like a silage, uh, and they eat a lot of that too. But the great thing about pigs, they're omnivores. They'll, they will finish any kind of trash that you need to finish. Uh, and so that's uh, their great use of, again, we're trying to close loops. We're trying to recycle things. We have lots of biomass waste that the pigs can turn into meat and manure, and then we can turn that manure back into plants and just keep those cycles going. And how often do you clean it out and start over with new sawdust? So this is right, we've got the new sawdust. This will get changed out the, in the following week. So this is about a year and a half oh. that it's been. So it won't. Yeah. And what are the dimensions of this? Uh, uh, Maybe eight. eight by 20? No. Not I can't remember big. exactly, and I did the drawings for it, so that's horrible. But. I think it's seven by fourteen, maybe that's. And then you typically that will hold two pigs. Uh, two pigs of this breed. And um, what kind of breed is that? This is an American Guinea hog. So it's a smaller. So it's a smaller breed. This pig will get to be about 150 pounds at its full market weight. Uh, these guys are about halfway there. It takes longer for these guys, but they're they also don't need to be grain fed to gain weight. I, are they considered a heritage pig? Yeah, they're a heritage breed. Now, how hard are they to find in this area? We got we got these uh, donated from a, a guy up in Georgia that's trying to promote Bring the breed. Uh, and so uh, we talked to him not that long ago about getting some, some breeding stock. They're a great pig. They're super docile. Just, they're great to work with. They put on weight pretty well without any grain. Uh, they've not had one illness. Uh, they're just, they're good animals. For a small, for small farming, they're really good. A good choice. I'm a believer. And the smell is not bad at all. I mean, even for as nasty as that looks, it's not bad at all. And they look pretty happy. And it looks like they're running a pig water nozzle so you're not having sitting water in here. So I'm sure that makes a big difference.